Welcome back everyone and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Zine, I'm the Fairy Medicine Woman. Today I'm going to tell you four ways for you to harness the new moon energy to ensure that your manifestations come straight to you. So be sure to stick around into the fourth point so that you have the entire package because manifestation usually works when you start putting all of your pieces together rather than just practicing one thing. So let's start with number one. Number one, I have keep your energy high. So this includes going out in nature, making sure you are meditating and being sure to connect with spirit, God, universe, cosmos, your ancestors, right? That connection that we have on our spiritual side and through the other realm is how we're going to be able to stay grounded and really amplify our intentions out into the universe because our manifestations live in the ether. They live in the cosmos. They are with spirit and <laughs> all the other energies. And what we are trying to do is manifest them into a different reality, into our 3D. So in order to do that, we need to know how to communicate <laughs> with the other side and match our frequency to our own desires. So make sure that you are keeping your energy high because that's the only way that you're going to be able to do that. For instance, if you are manifesting money, money is the same frequency, very close to love, right? So do some meditations around love. Do meditations for self love especially when it comes to finances if you feel like you've had trouble receiving money or creating money for yourself or you feel really stagnant with money right now most of the time when you can unblock your own self-love and your frequency of love the money comes flying in so number two begin to remove all stagnancies from your life either physically mentally or emotionally so that includes going through all of your stuff that you have in your surroundings and consolidating donating them giving them away selling them if you want to i love donating because there's a ton of people in the world who need stuff and it makes you feel really good um and really look at the stuff that you haven't used in months that you haven't used in years we have a tendency as a society to keep <laughs> so many things and i'm constantly talking to my family about this but we need a lot less than we think and we when we can remove all that extra energy it doesn't pull on us like people think that oh because i have it in the closet the energy won't pull on you. No, that energy still exists in its very solid form. So your solid form will interact with that solid form, which is gonna keep energy flowing from your manifestation. So make sure that you are bagging up whatever you don't need. Make sure that you are doing food cleanses if you want to, or water cleanses, or you know, cleansing your entire body if you wanna go do like a float spa, whatever it is that helps you um feel good and clear out your system and clear out your space make sure you are doing those things number three this one's gonna be a really really important one if you've never done this before or if you have done it do it again <laughs> so you want to make sure that you are scripting your dream life so talking about your dream life as if it's already happened but be extremely specific sometimes when i work with people they write stuff like oh, I have a house and I live on the water, right? Um, but the universe is like, okay, I will give you some sort of house on some sort of river. And sometimes it's ironic, like, yeah, maybe you got a tiny house and maybe you got it on a street called river, <laughs> right? So I've seen this happen to people many, many times. So make sure that you're being specific. I have my dream house that has this many rooms, it looks like this, this many windows. You can even make up a house number, like whatever you wanna do. Um, is it interior design? Did you do this <laughs> designing? Um, like literally, does it have a pool? Like <laughs> just get really specific, right? And then if you wanna say that you're on the water, say that you know, you're know you right on the beach. When you open your door, you put your feet into the sand and you walk straight into the ocean where you can enjoy yourself and like look at Nemo's, <laughs> right? Like do whatever you wanna do, but be specific as possible. And this like, comes down to even your friendships, right? So what do you want your friends to um, 
like how do you want them to be represented in your life like if you're looking for a new group of friends like i had made a list of everything that i wanted to change in my life which included friends but i was very specific about my friends like i wanted friends who were activists artists <laughs> healers musicians um financial folk and like spiritual group gurus and i went in detail into each one and now i like haven't stopped meeting <laughs> people every single day since i did that um because the more specific you are again the universe knows exactly what to deliver to you so do that with your friendship you can talk about your family relationships what you want the dynamic to feel like what you want it to look like um what you want it to evolve into. You can do this with your finances, like how much do you wanna make per month? How much uh, do you wanna have in savings? Do you wanna have generational wealth? And this is when you, you like, you don't wanna be shy about this. <laughs> don't be shy. Um, one of my mentors was like, why would you say your house had five rooms when you can have a house with 10 rooms? <laughs> you know, so it's like asking for whatever you think is going to work for you but then also asking so asking yourself if you're playing too small right <laughs> like if you're gonna shoot for the moon go for the freaking moon and land what amongst the stars so be sure to script your life this is like something that's hugely important and i am redoing mine as well mine are always really long and i love it last night i was writing and i literally fell asleep on my face and it was the funniest thing ever because the paper was like stuck i was like i'm gonna get back to you in the morning <laughs> so make sure that you are scripting your life out so the universe knows how to deliver the fourth one and this is one of my favorite ones this is when people tend to forget, right? You get through your clearing, your like frequency, easy stuff, you write things down and then you do nothing about it. So number four is sow your seed. So this is where you actually take action and it doesn't have to be like where you're spending tens of thousands of dollars, but if you have tens of thousands of dollars and you want to invest it into something, now's the time to do that if you want to do it right depending on what it is uh, but this is where you align your life with the dream life that you are trying to manifest so for me i really wanted to do races and raise money for the congo i wasn't quite sure how i wanted to use my athleticism <laughs> to do that and then it manifested itself in something that i used to do a long time ago which was running right and i absolutely like freaking love it so much but what i needed to do was i was going through and actually going to running groups and meeting people and talking and asking questions about sponsorships and then all of a sudden it just like tumbleweed into something else so you need to take the action if you're a musician start looking for producers if you want that start looking for how you can be an indie artist or if you want a record deal or like if you want to be like la Russell or you know, um, I don't know, like if you want a lyricist because you don't make lyrics or if you are a producer and you want to work <laughs> with an artist, go look for artists. Like what sound do you specialize in? Go create a fiver. Go, you know, this is when you start making those shifts because sometimes people think that the life is just going to plop in, which it does in some sense. But most of the time, like 99.9% .9 of the time, it plops in because you made the conscious decision to do something that told the universe you were ready to start. Same thing with your relationships. You want to manifest a partner? Go to some relationship classes. <laughs> Go to some relationship classes. Get a relationship coach. Put yourself in therapy. Go on a dating app. Do whatever you need to do that's necessary so you can actually be the frequency of your highest self, right? Like ask yourself, what would my highest self, whoops, what would my highest self be doing when this manifestation came in, right? I guarantee you they would not just be sitting around thinking about their dream life. Your highest self is living your dream life. So what do they do to get there? Um, so these are some basic things that I really want you to think about as you are using this energy to manifest your dream life and know that it is literally at your fingertips. And these four things are things that I do every single new moon, full moon, quarter moon, <laughs> like I'm doing all sorts of things for myself. My manifestations come so freaking quickly and it's just been the most fun. So I'm sending you all lots of love, lots of hugs. Let me know 
what happened for you when you did all four of these steps in tandem and what you manifested because it's good that everybody know that we work together and that we're not alone in this journey and that it is possible to see your dreams come true sending you lots of love be sure to like subscribe and share with your friends and be sure to follow me over on tiktok sometimes i make random things on there um but i will talk to you all soon see you later